Hi, welcome back to Messy Tea with Tay. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more content. Looks like our girl Keisha Cole is in love and love with Huncho. She just got her boo's name tatted. And you know, after the people in the comments found out that Keisha Cole had her young boo's name tatted, the comment section started going wild and calling her all sorts of things and saying she was too old to be acting this childish. Here are some of the comments that they were making. One person said, she's too old. That's it. Just too old. And then another person commented, Keisha, don't become a sign-in sheet, sis. And the final person commented, Damn, did she let the nigga write his own name? Even after the negative comments, Keisha Cole took to social media and confirmed that she's not single. Hi, guys. Single? No, I'm not single. I'm not single. Hi guys. Single? No, I'm not single. So yes, guys, as you heard, Keisha is in a relationship and she's not single. Guys, drop some comments down below letting me know what you think about Keisha Cole getting her new booze name tatted. And do you guys think this will be the last man name she get tatted? Yes, yesterday our girl Ty Taylor took to social media and confirmed the arrival of her new baby girl. Not only did she confirm that, she also confirmed who her baby daddy is and spilled a lot of other juicy tea about her delivery and a lot more. Here's Ty talking. <laughs> So let me tell you guys. So you spell her name like Favor, um, how you pronounce it in English because it's Hebrew is Favor. Her nickname is Fav. Now, I chose this name because when I was a little girl, I was always told, oh, you have favor over your life. You're the chosen one. It's, it's just something about you. Like I've been told that my whole life growing up I've I've never God has never let me struggle like anything to do or that I put my mind to it always works out for me I have it easy like and I'm not even trying to brag but it's really like that like I'm really God's favorite like anything I ever do it all it's always successful like I've never been one of those people where like, you know how you say some people are, oh, they got a, a dark cloud over them. Like, I'm not that. Like, I don't have to beg people to fuck with me. People genuinely love me. Um, I have great energy. Um, I'm not a, a like, it, it, it's, it's basically like God's favor. That's, that's basically what it is. It's hard to explain it, but the people who get it, get it. Like, if you feel like you're God's favor, if you feel like your life has always went as planned, I knew what I knew my life. I seen my life. I was told my life at 16 um, years old. I was told where I would be, how much money I would have, what I would be doing. I, I was told my life before I got to the age that I am. So that's uncommon. It's unheard of. It's it's not is rare and everything that you know was prophesied over me has came to pass so 
that name with me. And I was just laying in bed one day and I was just like, damn, I still don't know what I want to name my daughter. And it just came to me. So I wanted to name her um, Favor because I feel the way she came and how everything happened, she's a chosen child and she will have favor over her life. She will be God's favorite. She gift. Because I took a plan B. I'm just being honest. I took a plan B. I don't know how she got here. I took a plan B. But she's here. And I'm happy. Um, so I definitely feel like she's, you know, she will have favor over her life. She. I do have a whole vlog. But I'm only uploading it for my exclusive subscribers. Because, you know, these people are exclusively subscribed and I want to give them exclusive content so if you are not subscribed it's a longer clip it's like I think 30 minutes 20 30 minutes if I'm not mistaken but um if you are not subscribed to my Instagram make sure you go on there and subscribe so you can get the exclusive delivery video um I have before I pushed during pushing, after pushing. I have the whole thing. Um, and I'm excited to um, release it. It's getting edited um, right now. So uh, make sure you subscribe to my Instagram so you can be one of the exclusive um, people to see it. So her birthday is September the 25th. That's when she was born. She was born at... 1.42 a.m. Barely made it to be a Libra. I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know what I would have done if she wasn't a Libra. So, um, <laughs> that, uh, yeah, so. Am I afraid? Absolutely not. When I tell you I have one of the most loyal subscriber lists ever, I told you guys to subscribe to my Instagram and October because you would get all the exclusive content. My subscriber list been knew I delivered my baby. They had already saw pictures of the back of her head, everything. They they knew when I was in the hospital. They knew when I was they, they knew everything and nobody leaked it. And there's over sixty people in there. Anybody of the any of those sixty people could have screen recorded. Sorry, babies don't hate me. I didn't want to do y'all like that. I wanted to tell y'all so bad, but I'll be damned. If my motherfucking content went to waste, I had shot all them pictures. Y'all was finna get that motherfucking content. And I felt like if I would have told y'all I had the baby, y'all would have been like, girl, fuck them pictures of the baby in the belly. We want to see the baby. You should have been posted them. But the fucking photographers and editors that I was working with was taking so fucking long. Like, it don't make no sense like how long it was taking to edit the content i'm just like bro i can't you know I'm, my stomach is flat as hell like you know i can't keep you know hiding i'm ready to go ahead and put this out so i can you know let people know that she's here because i didn't like i'm not a liar so i didn't like lying but i knew that y'all would understand so I only had three choices. My top three choices was always Favor, Kavi, and Taylin. Those were, um, I picked the name Taylin when I was like a little girl. I was like, oh, if I have a daughter, I'm going to name her Taylin. Kavi came about when I was like searching, like in deep search for names. And I just, something just, Kavi just stuck to me. I just like it. I love the way it rolls off my tongue. I said it a few times. I called the name out and I just really liked it Kavi um but a lot of people steered me away from that name because they said it sounded like, like a unisex name like it could be a boy name and I didn't ever want nobody to mistake my princess for a boy or a dyke or gay or anything because she's very much well a, a very feminine beautiful young lady so I definitely was like okay we're not going with Kavi um so I definitely just would favor because that was the name that spoke to me the most. 
And when you're naming your child, you always want to name them something that you want them to be. Because whatever you name your child, the tongue is very powerful. So whatever you name your child is who your child will become. That's who your child will be. That's how your child's life, whole existence will plan out. And I know that I wanted my child to have favor over her life. I wanted her to, I just wanted that if I was to ever leave this earth, she is going to be taken care of because she has favor. And she's not going to struggle or, you know, she's not going to have a hard life. Of course, she's not going to have a hard life regardless because who her parents is. But it's a different when you got favor over your life. Favor. I love her name. I wish that was my name. <laughs> Labor was short. Labor was nice. Labor was didn't feel anything. Labor was coochie didn't rip. Labor was everything I wanted labor to be. Um, I was in labor for 30 minutes. Yeah, beat my rate. <laughs> yeah, let me know how long y'all in labor. Let me know how long y'all in labor. I was in labor for 30 minutes, sis. Come on. Let me see what that coochie talking about. Beat my, beat, beat my, beat my labor, um, beat my labor, uh, my labor time. Whoever beat my labor time, I got a present for you. I got a present for your baby, actually. Oh, I have a lot. You know what? I actually got hella shit that um, I didn't use for my baby. So if you beat my delivery um, time, it took 30 minutes. Um, yeah, I got something for you and your baby, your bundle of joy. Oh, but you got to show me proof, bitch. Don't be lying on your pussy either. So her name is Hebrew. It's um, spelled Favor, um, but the biblical uh, pronunciation, the English, when she at home, Favor, sit your ass down. <laughs> and her nickname is Fave. So I dilated up to like six, between six and seven um, centimeters naturally. And I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel um any pain until the doctor came in there and put put that put that that pinnacle whatever that shit is called they put some shit in my bag and that's what made me feel pain he kept asking me the whole time like you don't feel no pain you don't feel no pain and i'm like no am i supposed to be and he was like okay got some for you bitch when a doctor tell you he got some for you bitch run I mean, you know, it was, he was never a secret, but I mean, you know, I don't know, holidays, um, when I get ready to, why is this a question? Clock dead. You better clock that. Clock that. You better clock that. Clock that. Baby, I don't give a fuck what them people got to say about my baby name. At the end of the day, I push this baby out. I get I get to choose her name. I get what it, I don't give a damn with motherfucking Sharkisha, Shanisha, sh 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 uh Chantel motherfucking Jacuria got to say about me and my motherfucking child favor because baby their name is Jabarkis motherfucking Javante motherfucking Lil Durag motherfucking Trim bitch at least I named her something that has a meaning and it wasn't something that was just cute for Instagram so I didn't pick her middle name her dad did but her uh, middle name is Aya, and it's spelled A Y A. She was exactly six pounds. She did lose a couple of pounds when we were in the hospital, but they said that that's normal. 
um, her home at like uh, five pounds, four ounces. But when she was born, baby was six pounds. Hell no, my baby came home in two days. My baby is premature, but she's full term. She was six pounds. Your baby has to be six pounds for you to leave the hospital. So she may wait. She just came a month early. All of her limbs are there. She wasn't sick. She was healthy. She was um, breathing fine. She was eating. Her stool was normal. Everything that she passed all of her tests with flying colors. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard out here for breastfeeding moms. It's really hard. Um, that was um, something that me and um, her father agreed on to do breastfeeding. So, you know, she could be very smart. She about to wake up. Let me turn the light on. She don't like the light. But, um, yeah, man, shit, shit, she be sucking the hell out my titties and shit hard. When it comes to breastfeeding, like, um, that's a full-time job, like, dead ass, like, a full-time job. Like, the baby's already a job, but breastfeeding is another full-time job, because you have to remember to pump around the clock you have to remember the um the health codes when it comes to the milk about you know room temperature freezing not refreezing stuff how long stuff can sit out how uh how long stuff can sit in the refrigerator it's a lot and then on top of that um when your breasts get full they will mess up your shirt. Um, I just purchased some of these. Some of these. So they basically go in your bra to um, prevent leakage. Um, so that's why it's very important that you pump around the clock. Because if not, your breast is going to hurt really, really bad. And when I say really bad, like it's going to feel like you're about to give birth through your breast like they swell up so big they be looking cute girl in the shirt but it's not a comfortable feeling trying to breastfeed i felt very sick very weak very drained like depressed like my body just didn't feel good like i wasn't i didn't like i wasn't like a a, a cough sick it was like an internal like sickness that I felt that was like approaching. So the moment I started back juicing and taking my vitamins, I instantly like in two days felt completely better. So it's very important that you um, making sure you stay hydrated and and um, putting those vitamins back in your body. Your baby, 30% of your 30, 30% of your energy, your, your body, like your whole existence so yes guys go ahead and drop some comments down below letting me know your thoughts on what all ty taylor had to say about her delivery and dropping tea on who her baby daddy is and also about our girl taking a plan b but still ended up having a baby congratulations ty taylor for tuning in to messy tea with tay make sure you like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell